Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing something that's going to go over the top of a junk journal. So I've got a whole heap of stuff out and I thought I'd have a play. I'm starting with these, which is a coffee pod, one side of a coffee pod box. I thought that might be good because that can sit over the top of the page and I can decorate it up. So I've also got out some things that I've made recently which are these pieces. I thought that maybe I could use these as a, quite a good thing to cover the coffee pod with. So I think I'll just trim this down a moment first because it's a little bit crooked. And I've got some laces out and a few other bits and bobs to see what I can make today. So we'll start by putting this over the top just as our background. Now you're going to see this on both sides of the page so I want it to be able to open up in the centre still like that to slip over the page. So I need to decorate both sides or at least put something on I guess what would be considered the back so when you turn the page you can still have something pretty to look at. I'm just going to fold this over the top a tiny little bit so that it will cover up when I put the piece on the other side. I will be trimming this down. I do want it to be skinny like the coffee pod. That's why I've chosen the coffee pod as the base. And I'm hoping that that will fit here, but it won't. So we'll have to find another piece. I've got plenty that I made in that same vein, so that's not a problem. Let's see, just looking for a skinny piece. All right, so I found another piece that I'll put down on here. Right, I'll save that bit. I can use those bits in a different project, they're fine. And I'll now just trim this down. I'm just gonna test it out in my book to see if it's actually going to work. I think I need to glue some of the top part of it down. I'm not sure, but we'll just put it on here and see if it's going to work. So it needs to be able to stay there on its own. So I think I'm gonna stick it down about maybe an inch of the top of it because I think that that will work. Let's just stick it down and have a look. I can always put a clip on there if I need to, but I thought maybe sticking it down might work. So that's just some glue on the first, say, inch of that fold. And now we'll just have another go and see if it'll slip on, which it should. And then it should hold on, so there'd be no need to put a clip to hold it on by putting that in that first section. And I think I'm just going to pick, well, it doesn't matter. I need to decorate both sides of it, so it doesn't really matter which one I go with. And I've got my photo booth out. I thought I would use one of them. Part of the reason I've chosen the photo booth is that they're super thick card, and so that will make it more sturdy when it's actually in the book. And I'm going to leave the frame around it today. So I'm going to use her on one side and then I've got bits of lace and things out to put down underneath. I was going to put some more lace down but that might be enough by the look of it. So I'll just randomly put this on and then put her over the top. And I'll put a couple of random bits of stuff down. So I've just got some book page as a start, just to make it a bit different. Get that under there. I also have some of the quotes, don't I? Yes, so I've got some of these out as well. These are the Tim Holtz stickers. These ones are the um, Halloween ones. 
This one an all blue one. I don't want to introduce any red as such. Seeing how that's going to look if I put it here. And then I'm going to put a little quote down as well. I just want a short one. I'm happy to cut it off, but I don't want it, you know, cut off too much. In fact, I just found this cute little one which has got a name on it. I should put this on here. It says Bessie C. Rogers. <laughs> so cute these, I love them. And then I will put something down here still that I can cut off. Let's see. I mean that's not too big. See what else I've got in that other book as well. Maybe I'll find something in here. Actually what I'll do first is I'll chop it off. See how it's going. So just trimming up those edges. And get the lace out of the way because I don't want to chop the lace. I think I'll put a piece of lace over the top of the book page. That might look better than what it is at the moment. It's okay but it just needs, well in my opinion looking at it I just need something else on it really. See if I can find a little bit of, I've got this brownish sort of lace. Might put some of that on here. Barely need any at all because it's so skinny that <laughs> doesn't use up much in terms of supplies. Yep, that will be fine. So that's sort of like the front, the front side if you like. And then I wanted to do something on the back, but I don't want to get too crazy on the back. Maybe I'll use some more book page and put some down just to give it a bit more enhancement. I've got this bit that I cut off the other piece. I might put it down here. Reuse something that I was going to throw in the bin. I have to put those words a bit straighter. And then I'll just tear this off because I really can't cut it now. I can't open the top piece up. Maybe I should have waited to stick that piece together at the top but I did just want to test it before I actually move forward with it. So we'll just, um, that's fine. And I probably need one other thing on here. Go back to my book, this one. And we'll see what we can put on here. What about this? It says calls answered day or night and I'm going to cut it after the word answered and put it down here. Put it at the bottom. No, it needs to go in the centre like this and then like this. There you go. So that's the back of it. I'm just wondering if I need to put anything else on but I don't think I do so I'll just pop it into the book and we'll have a look how it looks now. Let's try and find a page. Got my big box of lace on the table, it's a bit, a bit too big for the table. And then you can just give it a little open here. So I'm not opening it very much because I want to slide it on, actually I'll slide it on this page here. And then I'm hoping that that will stay and it does. Okay now if you're worried you could always put a clip on. I just bumped it then but I'm just thinking it might not be dry yet the glue. Actually it's probably better to put it in toward the centre of the page rather than the other side. So that and then you when you 
hold your book that's going to poke up like that. So I'm just putting a piece of that lace which is just the top part, it's the actual mesh part rather than the actual lace part down there and I'd like something round to go on that or let's see what else we've got in this book. I'm actually going to pull that lace off there, it's too bulky. I'll put it on something else later and I will get something that's a little bit flatter. Maybe like this piece. Hmm. I want to put this here. In fact I might just put this here by itself rather than trying to put lace underneath it. It's already got lace on that side. And there you go, I think that's quite cute. I'm going to make another one with a different sort of idea. So I'll just pop this one in here. But yeah, you probably need to do put it into the centre of the page because I think if it's on the outside it might fly away. That's quite good, quite happy with that. Now I'll just grab another one and you can see there like it's sticking up. In fact, I think that I might turn that around and put the R on the outside. There you go, that looks good. And then on the back when you open it up, so it's sort of like a bookmark almost. Not that it's more of a decoration than a bookmark but you could use it as a bit of a bookmark I guess. So that's one thing. Now I have another idea and it's sort of based on the same premise. I have another piece of coffee pod that I'm just folding in half and this time I will cover it first before I glue the top of it together. The reason I'm cutting this down first is because I want to use this piece I'm cutting off and I want to use the number one that's on it. So I don't necessarily want it to cut that off otherwise I would have cut through the number one. Stick this down. I may end up covering the, these numbers. If I do that's fine, it's not the end of the world. So with this one I'm just going to put some book page down and just quickly, probably don't need it that wide. I do want to use this piece here, maybe I can put this piece at the top. It's almost the same width and again it's quite strong, these are the um, it's about the same thickness, maybe a little less than the, the photo booth pictures but this is um, one of the brass ones that he, um, it's Tim Holt sorry, it's one of the brass ones that he's done. I can't think what they're called actually but they're a bunch of alphabets like that and they're based on a brass stencil. They're actually a real stencil that he has had copied and produced into these letters. I quite like that at the top and then if I put that at the top I need something at the bottom. I want something underneath that, I don't like that being book page underneath. I wonder if I can put a little bit of map underneath that, up the right way of course. I think that would look better. Just cut a little bit of this off. I think I cut it a bit short, oh no I didn't but I do need to have it up the correct way. It'll drive me bonkers if I don't. I think that's better than having the book page showing through. And put some glue on and get this one down. Maybe I can do a picture on this side. And a sticker, a word sticker. So let's grab a word and see what the word would look like. So. I think I'm not going to put lace on this one, I'm going to do it quite plain so that if you don't like lace particularly 
then this is just another idea not using the lace. And we might make it, let's see, trying to find something that might look Do something a little bit creepy with this little Halloween saying that's here. Let's trim that down. And I'm not worrying about where it's going, I just put it down rather than positioning it perfectly. Not think about it, otherwise it'll be too um, neat, you know, I want it a bit random. There you go. So I've got that down there and maybe I can do another one up the top. So let's just look where we're up to. It's a lot plainer. I think I'll go back to, let's see, um, I really like these. I suppose I can do another one of those on here, can't I? Just put that at that angle and get another little saying. Oh, I should have done one of these. Can I get that up? Huh. Oh, it's not quite going to stick again, but it'll stick fine. I'll have to use some glue to stick it down when I go to use it. Because I just saw, I know these are long, but I think I'll put like these down here. Just cut that off. And this... I'm just going to put the back part of it on the marketing Market Street, Wilmington, Delaware. And then this piece with the EBH on it, or whatever it says, I'll trim it down. And if it won't go on here, although it will, I think, put that across there. And then trim these down. So I think if you've got lots of little things, like little bits of paper or little sayings or little anything really, that these would be a way to, you know, use those things, those tinier things. I don't think I want any more letters. I have to find something else that's a bit different. Maybe I'll do a number. Yep, that's good. That's what just what I was looking for. Perfect. I'm tossing up whether I want to trim the edges of the A. Maybe not. Okay, so I'll stick this down now. Again, just about an inch at the top. And then we'll see how that one looks in the book. I like this one with the R on it. That's really nice. It sort of, yeah, I think it'll stay there. The other place you could put these would be like down here on this one. On a pocket like that. You put that down there, of course you'd have to take it out to look at the back of it. And the same if you wanted to put it on the front. Like I could put it into one of these pockets. But again, you'd have to take it off to look at the back. So I think I'll just put it in the actual journal itself like this and I like it on this page because this page is a little bit plain even for me I like my stuff quite ordered although I'm pushing myself to try and be more inventive and you know braver to put sort of other things on and then this one I will put into let's see where we can put this one maybe on this page here. Now I think I'm going to put the A at the front. Oh, that's come apart. Hang on, I just have to stick that down a bit. Yep, that's fine now. And then I can put that here. And then when you turn it over, you've got the one there. 
that's not holding as well as the other one. I may have to end up putting a little clip on that one. But I think that's lovely. Something a bit different. And then they stick up in the book. So if you move this one out a little bit. So you probably do need something at the top there because it's a bit plain. Whereas this has definitely got something sticking up. So let's go back to it and work out what I can put up there. I know I had something before this one. It says figure one and figure two. Let's see what this will look like if I put it up the top here. Yep, that's good. I'll have to have another stamping session, I think, and stamp out some more of these onto Manila card because I'm finding that I'm using them more and more and they're just coming in really, really handy. Yeah, now when I put this back on here now, and the glue has dried a lot more, so it's going to hold now. If I put that back on there, now you've got that sticking up at the top of the book and that looks much, much better. Okay, so that's it. I'm done for now. And I will be back with another video tomorrow. Meanwhile, thanks for joining me. Really appreciate your company. Cheers.